quick chemistry tip from ChemHelp ASAP. So when you have multiple resonance structures, how do you decide which ones are major contributors and which ones are minor contributors? Well, first you wanna make sure that you have the maximum number of octets filled, ideally all of them. Second, you want to have the fewest formal charges, again, ideally no formal charges. Third, you wanna make sure if you have a negative formal charge that it's going on your most electronegative atom. And fourth, when you have structures that have equivalent stability, then they will contribute equally to your overall structure. So if you take a look at the example I've shown right below here, you can see I've got three different resonance structures. And so I need to decide which one is the major contributor and which one is the minor contributor. So if you look at that structure on the far left, you can see that all of my octets are filled and I have no formal charges. This is going to be my major contributor. If you look at my middle structure, you can see that all of my octets are filled, but I do now have formal charges. So this is less of a contributor than the structure on the far left. And the structure on the far right, we have two issues. First, we definitely have formal charges. And second of all, not all our octets are filled. So if you take a look at that carbon with the positive one charge, that's a carbocation, it does not have a filled octet. So that structure on the right is my minor contributor for my overall resonance structure. Now, if you need more help, you can find me at Kim Help ASAP on YouTube, on Facebook, on Instagram, and at KimHelpASAP.com.